of Angels, Los Angeles, California, set to kick off another exciting edition of Monday Night Raw. And seven nights ago, this man was set to defend his WWE Championship against Matt Riddle in the main event. That went AWOL when Brock Lesnar attacked Matt Riddle. A whole lot of situation to cover between Lesnar and Riddle, but Seth Rollins with a different matter on hand to kick things off here tonight in Los Angeles. The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds, the WWE Champion, Seth Well, it was eight nights ago at SummerSlam when Seth Rollins successfully cashed in his Money in the Bank briefcase for the second time in his career to become the WWE Champion yet again. And as we mentioned, Seth Rollins seven nights ago here on Monday Night Raw was set to defend the championship against the man he defeated at SummerSlam, Matt Riddle. Riddle wanted his rematch. He invoked that rematch clause last Monday night, but never even made it inside the squared circle because he was ambushed by the beast incarnate Brock Lesnar. A whole lot of story to be told there, but nonetheless, Seth Rollins is inside the squared circle and he's got his hands full tonight with another former WWE Champion representing the New Day, Kofi Kingston. Xavier Woods in tow as well. Should be a great contest. And his opponent, accompanied by Xavier Woods, representing the New Day from Ghana, West Africa, weighing in at 212 pounds, Kofi Kingston. Well, as Kofi gets set, we want to take you back to last week on Raw, and here's the events that transpired. Matt Riddle on his way to ringside when he was ambushed by the Beast Incarnate Brock Lesnar. And remember back to May at Vengeance during Matt Riddle's WWE Championship reign, he defeated Brock Lesnar to retain the title all those months ago. The ambush at ringside, the F5 inside of the ring, I think tells a very interesting tale that says Brock Lesnar has not forgotten about Matt Riddle's loss, or I should say Matt Riddle's defeat over him back at Vengeance in May. And even though the WWE Championship may no longer reside with the original bro, Brock Lesnar has got a list. He's checking it twice, and he's coming for payback on the original bro, like it or not. Interesting story, but we will focus in on the matter of hand here to kick things off from Crypto.com Arena, Los Angeles, California, Hollywood, the City of Angels, kicking things off with Kofi and Rollins here tonight on Raw, and Kofi Kingston high out of the gate, recognizing the opportunity at that hand tonight. It's been several years since Kofi Kingston held the WWE Championship, and it's been a long time since Kofi participated in the main event scene as well. But he sees he's in the ring with the champion himself tonight, and Kofi Kingston looking to seize the day as he sends Rollins to the outside now. And what has Kofi Kingston got in mind? Tope Suicida sends Seth Rollins into the announce table. Los Angeles, California coming unglued in the early moments of this matchup, as is the New Day's Kofi Kingston. Kofi Kingston wants to get that victory tonight and possibly earn himself a future WWE Championship match against Seth freaking Rollins. But Rollins now participating in his first matchup. He's being victorious back at SummerSlam for the WWE Championship. Not looking to see his first match inside the square circle. Go up in flames, if you will, against Kofi. And again, Kofi Kingston a victory tonight could easily put him as the next in line for the WWE Championship, possibly on Sunday night, September the 17th, in Chicago and Unforgiven. And Seth Rollins off the knee, trying to strike early and strike fast to get the victory, but Kofi Kingston survives. As this matchup progresses, Rollins trying to get back into this as he sends Kofi Kingston face first on the canvas. We want to remind you that next time we come your way for some live premiere events, of course, Sunday night, September the 17th, it is the Monday Night Raw exclusive Unforgiven event in the All State Arena in Chicago. Of course, the night before, SmackDown will be in Baltimore for the No Mercy live premiere, as well as the Cruiserweight Classic which is taking place currently every Saturday afternoon, live at 3 p.m. Eastern time. 
I cannot wait to see how that unforgiving card comes together. Meanwhile, Kofi Kingston, SOS on Rollins, not watching the ring awareness there. But a great signature out of the arsenal of the New Day's Kofi Kingston. Been a little while since we saw the New Day in action here on the Red Brand. Gonna make a victorious return tonight as Kofi goes for the double knees in the corner and Rollins gonna avoid disaster. Seth Rollins dropping the knee on Kofi Kingston as well. Gotta wonder if Seth Rollins has taken a vested interest into the main event tonight. But meanwhile, Kofi Kingston off the trouble in paradise to Seth Rollins. But Rollins gets the shoulder up. Kofi Kingston going for the kill and going for the kill early here in Los Angeles, California tonight on Raw. Well, I was about to state, I wonder if Seth Rollins has taken a vested interest in tonight's main event because of the participants, more specifically the Celtic Warrior Sheamus, but now Rollins turning the page, a pedigree on Kofi, but it's not enough to keep him down. Remember, it was just a number of weeks ago in the lead up to SummerSlam where Sheamus made his return to Monday Night Raw. Alongside Shinsuke Nakamura in a tag team victory over Sol Sokoa and the man who put him on the shelf back in May, Seth freaking Rollins. A lot of history, a lot of unfinished business between, between Rollins and Sheamus. And now that Rollins is the WWE Champion, you gotta wonder if Sheamus is chomping at the bit. Not only for retribution on Rollins, but a shot at the WWE title. Oh, meanwhile, Rollins off the top rope with the superplex and the Falcon Arrow combination doing the deed in the middle of Hollywood, but Kofi Kingston survives again. Los Angeles is loud and proud tonight, kicking off a great episode of Monday Night Raw. Kofi Kingston down and out. These two men leaving everything in the kitchen sink inside the squared circle to open us up tonight. And I don't think Rollins was expecting this fight out of Kofi Kingston, but Kofi, opportunities don't come around each and every day. You gotta take advantage when they come knocking at the door. Rollins realized that Kofi Kingston is in for the long haul tonight, and he's gonna have to dig down deep to try to take out the New Day's Kofi as Rollins over the top rope and taking out the New Day's participant. Rollins not afraid to take things to the air. Neither is Kofi Kingston. We are seeing a great athletic battle here tonight. I mean, how much more can these two men withstand in this matchup? Kofi Kingston has brought some of his most famous maneuvers to the dance. Rollins with a DDT Arn Anderson would be proud of. And I'm really starting to unload on Kofi. That pedigree didn't do it earlier. He realizes again the fight that Kofi Kingston is bringing to this matchup tonight. The WWE Champion Seth freaking Rollins is going to have to pull out some tricks out of the hat in order to defeat Kofi. The Falcon Arrow combination didn't do it either. Kofi Kingston, he may be down, but he's not out just yet. As there we see another reversal. Imagine if Kofi Kingston can defeat Seth Rollins tonight. It could easily be Kofi versus Rollins round two on September the 17th for the WWE Championship, if that is the case. All remains to be seen what is going to happen in Chicago and Unforgiven, the Raw exclusive live premiere event. That's going to be an amazing weekend next month. Kofi Kingston with a beautiful reversal into the DDT, taking down the champion. And again, Kofi with another SOS. And elects not to go for the pinfall this time. Kofi wants to go for the kill. Could be looking for a second trouble in paradise on the WWE Champion. But will it be enough to keep down Rollins? Kofi's going to do it. Not just yet. Not just yet. Seth Rollins gets the shoulder up. The matchup rolls on. And Kofi Kingston has got to be wondering what the hell he's got to do to keep the champion down here in the City of Angels. And now Kofi into the ropes. Going for the splash. Could have been going for the boom drop there, but throwing something a little bit different at Rollins. All of his body weight crashing down on the midsection of the champion. Now Kofi off the ropes, but Rollins avoids the drop kick that Kofi had in mind. Now the WWE Champion sending to the outside, trying to create some distance, trying to get a breather after Kofi Kingston's onslaught a few minutes ago. Oh man, Rollins the instability. Rollins trying to slow down the pace right now, possibly. Kofi Kingston 
But the same accord, as we mentioned, might be wondering what the hell he's got to do to keep the WWE Champion down tonight. He's hit him with double SOS, double trouble in paradise. But Seth Rollins rolls on in your opening matchup. Rollins just trying to stomp the life, stomp the heart, stomp the will to succeed out of Kofi Kingston tonight. I don't think Seth Rollins was expecting this fight, nor was he interested in this heavy of a battle. Rollins got lucky he avoided that WWE Championship match with Matt Riddle last week, but Kofi Kingston's giving him a fight for two tonight. And Xavier Woods at ringside, Kofi Kingston with the world watching wants to take advantage of the situation. Rollins off the top rope with the elbow, and he may have come crashing on the heart of Kofi Kingston, but Kofi kicks out again. What a matchup to kick things off here tonight on Raw. Still to come, we have Sheamus and Sol Sokoa, a heavyweight battle that Bray Wyatt would be proud of in the main event. But right now, Seth Rollins into the crossface on Kofi Kingston. And not a maneuver that we see Rollins utilize very often. Digging down deep in the bag of tricks, trying to throw Kofi off his game. Will Kofi tap out? Kofi Kingston survives, gets the champion off his back. I don't think Seth Rollins can afford another trouble in paradise, another SOS, another big time momentum shifting onslaught from Kofi. There's the swing blade there and Rollins, wait a minute. Going for a second pedigree and he nails it flush. And elects not to go for the pinfall just yet. As Kofi's to his feet, you gotta be kidding me right now. Kofi Kingston is coming alive. A third trouble in paradise now. Rollins finally gets out of the way. And a super kick counter. Misses for the discus forearm. Kofi, tornado DDT. What are we witnessing right now? Win, lose, or draw. Kofi Kingston is reminding the world just who the hell he is. A decorated future Hall of Famer. Former WWE Champion, former IC, US Tag Team Champion, a little bit of everything in the accolade list of Kofi Kingston. And this matchup tonight is in, in case you forgot, here's what I bring to the dance, showcased by Kofi. Oh, what the hell is Rollins doing? A little un emphasis on that suplex. Xavier was trying to rally, but I think it might be too late. A turn stop! Into the cover. Kofi's out of it. Co not, not just yet. Not just yet. The ring awareness by the veteran. Kofi Kingston getting the hand on the ropes. Rollins can't believe it. He hit the curb stomp. Kofi Kingston reaches out. Kofi Kingston survives. And Seth Rollins now face first off the canvas again. Goes Kofi. He may have been running off instinct, running off adrenaline. I don't think there's anything left in the tank of the New Day's participant as Rollins delivers a second emphatic curb stomp. Into the cover, and that'll do it. What a matchup to kick things off tonight in Los Angeles. I do not think Rollins was prepared for that battle. Kofi Kingston absolutely threw the champion off his game, and Seth Rollins found a way to survive tonight. In case you forgot, Kofi Kingston reminding the world just what the hell he is capable of, and I got a feeling Here's that will be, wait a minute, wait a minute! The Celtic Warrior Sheamus is in the ring! We talked about the bad blood from all those months ago. Sheamus still wants his piece of flesh with the WWE Champion. Sheamus will be in the main event later tonight against Sol Sokoa. But he has still got a vendetta against Seth freaking Rollins on brown kick to the WWE Champion. Rollins took away months of Sheamus' career and the Celtic Warrior has not forgotten. Delivering not one, but two pro kicks. And the WWE Champion is seeing the stars of Los Angeles. Sheamus throwing down the gauntlet here on Raw. Coming your way on Saturday night, April the 13th, 
Witness the aftermath of WrestleMania as the superstars of Monday Night Raw and Friday Night SmackDown head to San Juan, Puerto Rico for the 2024 Backlash. This international live premiere event streams live at 5 p.m. Eastern Time on Saturday night, April the 13th. And as a new season approaches, what will these superstars have in store? You haven't seen anything yet, and nothing can prepare you for the backlash.